San bonani makaya, rale amo khela khape mo rise. We share the world with other people. We live together, work together, and play together. Yet, for the most part, we hardly know how to communicate effectively with each other. Mobu se khong bakajenu, rebuaka communication skills. Dumelang, my co-host, Lika Kajenu. So, aki kuku pa khole buta khole lona ko khai halu khola. But zadi ba lona neba communicate yang, and neba zadi ba lona neba communicate yang li lona. Khole neba communicate yang pili amongst themselves. Mama le papa haba buaka mo assuming that you were raised by mama le papa, and then li lona khape esban. Yeah, Kai, it was great. My parents always talked about everything. They were always talking. And I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I remember I liked this guy and I was very young. And I was free to ask my dad. We said, Dad, that's going to be one thing. And I was free. So communication and it was something that was encouraged. And is it still the same now? It's still the, the same. same. My dad is like a best friend. I talk to him about almost <laughs> everything. <laughs> I like the almost part. Can you win her? I don't and um, we had an open communication, good communication. I think basically, discipline, communication, you know, I just think, that much. I grew up talking a lot. I still do. But I don't think communication is mm. okay. And I, I, you know, I don't think the skills that I learned about how to communicate were very good ones. And I don't even think Hori never communicated in a very effective way, you know. And I think uh, while we can laugh about Omangwa, I also think that a lot of what in my home was disciplining. Mm. And sometimes using very harsh mm. and very negative words. You know, mm. they really mean that. Sure. You know, and 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 also role modeling particularly about feelings. Mm. So you never hear people talk about you know, I was so encouraged by when you did this, or, you know, I was so unsure, or I was so hurt. Mm -hmm. It's like every communication about feelings, it's actually very emotional, sure. you know what I mean? And then people say things. And you know, when a parent says some words, Eish. That can scar you. You know what I mean? It's like, and we don't how do you... Like that as parents, mm. Mm. Including what parents say to each other. Yeah. Mm. To, to this day, you know, if, if, if I can talk about something that was regrettable about my upbringing, that was that part. Yeah, communication, mm. you know. Yeah. But the problem is that it's one... It's a one-way street. Exactly. You are supposed to just sit there and take it, basically. Yeah. And it can go on and on. So I made fun of you a little bit earlier, Kanye, but it is it can be very negative. Mm -hmm. And up to more negative even than Khoshapiwa, maybe sometimes. Because yeah. I never, ever, ever, ever got hit mm. as one. Mm. Um but but sometimes then I think maybe we have a chiki we enough. Wait. But anyway, like you said, ribuaka communication skills mm. and and when I think about it, it's uh, there wasn't much communicating going on because uno blello. And how yeah. mameli wa chikiwa. Yeah. Mm. So it's not like you were encouraged hubu. I was encouraged to read. I was encouraged to if things then it was something that was encouraged. But outside of that, Mm, not really. The problem is that ira mm. at the times. And it's very mm. difficult to this day. Sure. You know? Because sure. So it almost eliminates your trust. When we do something wrong, we really need you to be um, understanding more than... So how about communicating outside of the home? We mm. communicate what about how we no communicate a younger monthly? The golf is seeing. Are you very different than you are at home, Ramaphok? Maybe a little bit better. Um, but with me, I'm very open and I, you know, I'm, I'm very. 
got to be brave to say some of the things that I have to. But also professional, a meeting is not the same as a social sure. uh, a space. Uh, what I find, though, uh, which, which is, is, is because outside we are so many cultures, particularly in America, uh, you know, you, you never know what may offend right. uh, mm -hmm. somebody. Yeah from the same orientation. Sure. Now mm. what I struggle with is, is the non-verbal communication. Mm. I find that Ipos Jaya means I'm intimidated or mm. Banga was Kulmanam. And like what she pointed out, which communication is not only about Kulum. So mm. that is true because a Kaiba Bang Funus Kulmana and how to make how to put a cross I'm a point so I'm, but then I was never taught how to how to make a person feel open and warm towards me like I'm a guest just why me no sabuswe and wuting benjain those no non-verbal communication skills I was never taught no um well go high vele kirutu le thompo or hobu ya liba holo tanso thompo so I still do those things yaka di gesture nyana ya dume lamba holo kire le zoho so um marakape um I was often told, That went out of the window. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, because at school it was a different thing of be loud and proud because it makes you confident. And then at home, ukaya koha and then bare whenever humble. So it didn't work out. Sorry, mom. All right. <laughs> when we come back, we'll be joined by Sheree Halley, an educator and applied theater facilitator, to talk more about communication. Let's get it's for remote. So now we get a footy. We can you know about the sofa and the shore heli. I see the good about Kuluma Tin Nam Sanj. Over to you guys. Thank you, Mbali. Welcome to the show, Shore. Hi. Um, so Shore, before we have this lovely chat, mm -hmm. our team visited the Rise Young Women's Club in Northwest to check out a workshop they did on communication. Let's have a look. Hi guys, Kinna Tumi Motswatwe. I am here from Makospan Village, Ko Northwest, where we are about to do a workshop about communication. So I will be facilitating the workshop. There's a role play, some exercises, icebreakers, games, just to make sure the girls, you know, get a chance to communicate and just express themselves. Let's go in. Hi, I'm Sola Kachika Mukate from Makospan Village. For now, we're doing a tutorial on communication. Talk show now on a restatila pele exercise. The exercise that we're going to do is sharp. Then after, it's a the 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 short story. Lina la meke mo le bohe makunye. And I'm from Northwest, Mafikeng, Ward 25. And I'm from a team called Invisible Ladies. It's a supporting group for the teenagers that it can hold. Since well, generally the different issues are really all over the country. And if we have a situation in everything, we can go to the city. What would you do instead of touching? I'm going to work on the workshop. I'm going to work on the workshop. I'm going to work on a particular situation. I'm going to work on the workshop. I'm going to work on the workshop. I'm going to work on the solution. I'm going to work on the workshop. So now, can you see the situation? How would you do this differently? So we have to make them feel at home. Right, communication. So, Sheree, can you take us through the different kinds of communication and how they work? Okay, well, I, I think that there are three ways that one communicates. Mm -hmm. The first would be verbal. So, mm -hmm. what are you saying? 
how are you saying it? Mm -hmm. What are you hearing and how are you listening okay. to someone? Mm -hmm. And then there would be like the, the non-verbal way of communicating. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a lot to do with body language, the way I'm sitting. Um, like right now you can see I'm, I'm closed off, I'm nervous, mm -hmm. I'm, not that, I'm not that open with my body. Um, and then the, the visual. So what do you look like? And, and what is your, your choice of dress telling us, communicating to us that can see you? Um, and I would say those are the three, the three ways that we communicate daily. Okay. Now, you know, our show and our clubs are for young women between the ages of 15 and 24. And a lot of times, young women and, and even children mm. must be seen and not heard. Mm. How does that affect how they communicate and how they assert themselves? I, I grew up in a home like that as well. My, my grandmother was, was very strict on children being seen and not heard. But I think what comes with that is when a child is being outspoken in the home and they are being punished for it, the result is that a child then, when they are out in the world at a much older age, they're reminded of that. Mm. And I think this affects, affects young people in job interviews, okay. in even communicating um, within a relationship. Mm -hmm. So for me, I find that it perpetuates gender-based violence in mm -hmm. the home. Mm -hmm. Now you're with your lover, you're with your partner, you're with your husband, mm. and you are reminded that you are, must be seen and not heard. But mm. then how do you overcome that? I think that parents, parents need to almost shift. As, as times shift, I think that adults need to shift. Yeah. The mm. same way I feel, I feel like parents need, uh, children need to shift, but I, mm. I feel like adults also need to make an adjustment mm. in, in the way the world is adjusted. How exactly do we recognize the difference between good and bad communication in ourselves and in others? Mm. If, if, we, if we remind ourselves that we are constantly communicating a message in our bodies, in the way we dress, in the way we speak. I only have one chance to present myself in a certain way. Let me do it right. And uh, the way we recognize bad communication in others, I think, is really through uh, the way that they might aggressively express themselves. Mm -hmm. I find that that be, to be b very bad communication. And mm -hmm. we can recognize when someone, when someone is communi communicating that of a violent nature that perhaps this person doesn't understand me. We can't speak gently to each other. We can't speak clearly to each other. And when you're listening to someone, Mm. And you're not listening to what they're saying, mm. but you're listening with the intention of, what am I going to say back? Mm -hmm. What am I going to mm. respond back? And that's one way we can recognize bad communication within ourselves, mm -hmm. is that I'm not listening to your story. I'm actually listening, trying to think of, what can I respond? How can would, I respond? Would you say that it's not communication? I, I mean, would, we are talking, but we are not communicating. I would say when it's I'm poor listening to listening. you. Mm. I would say it's poor communication. OK, so you would say listening is as important yes. as you expressing yourself. Yes. I think that modeling is a good way for parents to, to, to teach their children. Modeling is a good way for us to learn from each other in, in the general, in general spaces in the world. Mm. Mm. And I think humility is a big thing when it comes to communication. And mm. you know, humility isn't about thinking less of yourself, mm. but it's thinking less of yourself and thinking about the other person. Okay. So when we're having this conversation and I'm the loud mouth and I'm the one that wants to talk all the time, I gotta think about the others. I gotta be humble in a sense so that others in this conversation can be heard. Okay. Can you take us through how you talk or how you speak? Well, you'd notice from myself already, I'm, I'm very, my hands move. Yes. And I have a background in South African sign language. So okay. I am, the way I communicate with deaf people is a, a big part in the, my communication strategy with hearing people. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think that this, this gestural language can sometimes offend others. Mm -hmm. It might be a bit too much in your, in your space. Like and, a... <laughs> and, and something that my mother does a lot mm -hmm. when she speaks mm -hmm. is use her finger. Mm -hmm. And she and likes that, to speak yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. And that, that for me is dominating. And mm. it's, it's almost uh, 
it, it suppresses the other yeah. person. Like, you need to listen to me. So when we look at the nitty gritties of communication between mother and child or between two women, I think that our bodies, we need to be aware of the way our bodies are communicating mm -hmm. because we don't want to give the wrong impression. Another mistake that, that, that young women do when they're having a debate, when they're having a conversation that's very heated is to raise their voices. Mm. And now we want to speak louder because mm. we, we think that it's going to prove our point better. Yeah, but, uh, what do you train people when you talk about tone and all of that and mm. voice control? Mm. I think the main thing in teaching voice is about trying to understand your voice. Mm -hmm. So understand how loud your voice gets. And you already know, you, you can only get louder. You mm. have a loud voice. Mm. But it's about understanding your voice, understanding um, a particular, when I'm speaking in a particular tone, how that may affect others. Mm. And also clarity. Uh, that helps in, in interviews when we're talking mm. about the larger, uh, larger areas of our life, mm. work and job interviews. Uh, understanding your voice helps you understand that right now I'm in an interview. Mm. And speaking like this is not going to help anyone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. it's not going to help anyone. Yeah. I, how do I clarify what I'm saying through the clarity and pronu pronunciation of what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, thank you so much, Sheree, for coming today. Wish you the best with your future. You. Um, we'll be back right after the break. Do stay tuned. <laughs> So as you know, it is And what do they think about it? I think it's important. I mean, I think one of the things that I wish I had had in my own life is that open communication, particularly with my mother, where I wouldn't be afraid uh, to talk to her. Because I think even right now, who do young people look up to? And uh, in fact, the best approval that any child needs is that approval of a parent. And it comes when there has been uh, open communication. But I'm also now, as a parent, understand that it is not the easiest of things to do. It is not the easiest. So if you were not taught how to communicate, it even becomes much more difficult for you as a parent to have that open uh, communication. It's certainly not for the faint-hearted. You know, everything Sir Wankason is the ideal. Horrendele open communication with our parents, rebelle open um, communication with older people, but that is actually very difficult and i really don't see how it's going to happen like it was difficult for you to speak to your mother mm. you know and the thing about it is that we've been raised in this whole thing of to have respect for mm. adults and to tell the truth that respect is kind of fear i'm not sure if it's a respect thing you know because we are scared to speak to you guys you're gonna scorn us or we, we are afraid to speak to adults even now it's like Sitting here with the CEO of Soul City and someone who has so much experience is difficult. You guys sure. are my mother's age. This show is not easy to do because it's like, can I say certain things in front of them? You know, I'm not speaking to you in the same tone that I would speak to Mbali. I'm not speaking to you about the same things that I would speak to Mbali yeah. about, you know? But it's very difficult to achieve open communication intergenerally. We are also, or adults are also, also learning how to communicate to young people. Yes. You must remember that we were brought up in very different eras altogether. Our parents were also brought up in a different era. It's worse. Now, I'll be very honest with you. They struggle like very simple things. I'm like, okay, so what made you think that? 
you know, really talk. Mm. You know, but, but also our kids are growing up in a different culture. So that is why we've established these, these young, uh, Rise Young Women's Clubs, because I think we want them to be safe spaces for young women to communicate mm. with each other and perhaps raise their issues as a collective rather than as individuals when they find it difficult. Let me give you a tip of mm. how to communicate effectively with young people. Mm -hmm. In fact, to all adults out there. I think one thing is that you guys must genuinely try to understand. Mm -hmm. Adults always say, yeah, I understand, Mari. You guys don't, don't listen enough. Mm -hmm. Can I just say um, another thing about this communication is about trust. Mm -hmm. What I realize is the more kichigabatu, the more was untrusty. Somebody all logical, oil or Bacona, Bacona, who do lay and logical. Yes, logical, empathetic. It's trust. It's like every time Uchigawana, you break a certain mm. trust mm. and a certain bond. A long or Gemolmo and Hakimatanga Hushapa, Hakimatanga Huchiga. So, what I I regret the most is sometimes not be in the, with the young people around me is that, oh, I've broken that bond a little bit. It's not all the time. Yeah. And I'm a pretty cool auntie for the most part. Is yeah. Marnette bad? And that's true. I find that Abanta Batala, Baba, ba ba enforce e authority, and then ba matla ita ba funa guti siwa zukulma nao. I know. So what's zukulma nao? Wega njani? Niwa zukuchi. Ya bona. Niya zukuchi. If I could say something wrong, or anti zongchi, like inyanza guti ngsa bukuluma. Ish aski iske. Aski iske. Maru zokula na wembali. That's the thing about this. There goes. No, no, no. All I'm saying is the fact that you would also understand what those challenges are. Yeah. You know, I, I think every parent wants to be a good parent out there, and everybody wants to role model all of the. Of the of the good things that we have, and, and it's challenging. Okay, Why let's talk about the good stuff, friend. Like Can you say something? Right? I feel like Real <laughs> Juan. Just like yeah, be intimidated. Real Juan, <laughs> So let's end on a good note. The yeah. Who yeah. what is you know because we're talking about when we don't communicate well. And mm -hmm. when are we good about communicating? I think we're fantastic at giving each other compliments, particularly mm -hmm. because we know we all have the insecurities they mm -hmm. So that's when I think we communicate well. I was like, girl. I like your pants, and now you. Mm. We're very good like that. There's only that hug mentality. Yeah, mm. and then we're going to pull each other up where we're not mm. most yeah. sparkling. What about you guys? I think when we're comforting each other, mm. we're pretty good at that. Like when one of us is not having a good day, we're pretty good at, are you okay, Lebo? Do you mm. want to talk about it? Or are you okay, can you come on Bali? So that we have on lockdown. Sure. Fine to us. Yay! is when I'm doing something good and you recognize it. Right. And you can actually tell me, I'm sure. proud of you. That builds yeah. my esteem. But then as soon as you shut it down, then it changes. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I think positive affirmation we all need it absolutely regardless you almost always need somebody to say wow that, that was good and it really the that. same for you guys by the way yeah mm. Mm. I love the way you to add <laughs> you are welcome darling thank you very much thank you for everything thank you for joining us today you have two ears and one mouth remember that communication is all encompassing and not just in your mouth make every moment count remember to follow us on twitter share your thoughts with us on facebook and continue the conversation on mix and reach from all of us bye Woof, woof.